Hey all you cool cats and kittens. Welcome to Sip and Stream, the show where I pair cocktails with content and today we are making a spiced exotic apricot bourbon sour in honor of Tiger King. We're all stuck inside under quarantine and today I'm gonna show you a cocktail that pairs perfectly with any of the seven episodes of the new true crime series that's guaranteed to leave you feeling friskier than the feud between Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin. And that's a guarantee. Now don't worry, this cocktail is actually gonna be something that you want to drink, not like anything that came out of Joe Exotic's cafeteria. On the patio, right next to real life tigers, and you can have Ooh. some of the best Ooh. pizza. You wanna have a meat lover's pizza next to a tiger? That sounds dumb. And that's a Joe Exotic promise. To make this drink, you're just gonna need some simple bartending tools. I have a shaker here, a jigger, and a strainer. On the ingredient front, it's pretty straightforward. I have bourbon, some dried apricots, some apricot preserve, some fresh ground cinnamon, some lemons, and I have some eggs in the fridge because we're gonna add an egg white to the cocktail. It's gonna be frothy, and foamy, like a tiger at the mouth. I think that, that means it has rabies, so maybe not that. First, I'm gonna grab my shaker and I'm going to add three generous bar spoons of the apricot preserve. Now, if you can't find apricot preserve at your market, you could always do a orange marmalade. We're really just looking for that orange color like a tiger. Honestly, you can just adjust it to your liking. If you want it sweeter, add a little more. If you want it more tart, add a little less. I'm gonna add two ounces of bourbon into my shaker. All right, so next I'm going to cut some lemons. I wanna make sure that I'm using fresh lemon juice, unlike any of the ingredients in Mr. Exotic's meat truck. So I'm just gonna slice my lemon. I'm gonna squeeze all this goodness into the jigger. All right, and in we go. Egg whites in cocktails are a little bit polarizing. Technically, eggs can still carry salmonella, so you wanna be careful. I'm gonna separate an egg white. This is gonna add a creamy texture to the cocktail and give us that beautiful frothy foam. If you don't wanna use an egg white, you can use agua fava, which is really just the protein and juice inside a can of chickpeas. I am going to add the egg white into our cocktail and we are going to dry shake, which means shaking without ice. And if your hands hurt when you are done this, you did it right. Because that's how the egg white incorporates itself into all the good ingredients inside this cocktail. So I thought, why not shake to the refrain's length of the hit Joe Exotic song, Here Kitty Kitty. Here Kitty Kitty, you can something, something, something to do. Like he didn't sing those, right? Like you heard his talking voice and his singing voice. This is my first album, I saw Tiger, and this is my second album, Starstruck. Now we wanna add ice to the cocktail so that it actually gets chilled and dilutes a little. Boom. And here we go again. So now we are going to Take our strainer, I'm gonna grab a coupe glass, but you can really use a wine glass, martini glass, whatever. And, oh my God, look at that. So you should start to see this beautiful gradient happening with the foam and the egg white. Now it's time to garnish it up because we need to make this as exotic and outrageous as the dock itself. So I'm thinking we take a page out of Ms. Baskin's book and make it wear some kitty print. I'm gonna take a stencil that I have made in a tiger print pattern. I just took a piece of cardstock and cut tiger shapes out of it with a razor. I'm gonna lay the stencil on top of the sour. I'm gonna grab a mesh sieve and I'm gonna take my cinnamon over my stencil and just drop it over to get this beautiful tiger stripe pattern. Carefully lift it up. It looks just like a tiger. Ah! I'm going to take a dried apricot, do a little slit in the side, and garnish it. And there you have it, the perfect, creamy, bright, with just a kiss of spice apricot sour to pair with all of the murder, mayhem, and madness of Tiger King. I'll make sure to have a recipe card up here next so that you can screenshot it and make your own so that you can sip and stream along with me. And if you feel like it, drop a comment and let me know how yours tasted. Cheers! <laughs>
I don't know, like the child of Guy Fieri and Elisa Frank folder. <laughs>